Beginning with Town Hall 7, Dark Elixir definitely becomes a top priority, and we've got some great ways to get it in today's episode. Welcome my clashing friends, thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with Clash of Clans attacks. Yes, today we are talking about growing your Barbarian King or any other Dark Elixir heavy units that you might want to upgrade. And we'll start by taking a look at Galidon's base, yes my Town Hall 8 Let's Play. You can see here I have upgraded my King once to level 6 since hitting Town Hall 8, but it is a slow process. 25,000 Dark Elixir for the next upgrade, and you'll see I love Go Wipe, so of course I started working on upgrading my Go Wipe army, got P.E.K.K.A.s up to level 2, I've got Golems, but 60,000 Dark Elixir for level 2 Golems, that is going to take an awfully long time. Yes, I went ahead and got Hogs up to level 2 as well, sooner or later I will give them a try, but for now I will stick with Go Wipe as my preferred go-to attack for Clan Wars, and uh, for Strictly Far Farming, I am still sticking to mostly just Barbarians and Archers, although it is not the only way to go. We will start out with our first replay of the day, and there it is, the Dark Elixir in the center of the base that Quentin is after. And he has found a DE heavy base, but he's just brought Barbarians and Archers, so he is going to use what I like to call the Brute Force Technique to force those units in through all of those layers of walls to get to that Dark Elixir storage. And instead of ringing the base, he's really heavily focused on the top, top left of this village. Obviously, he wants to get through those walls. No wall breakers, but that will not slow him down too badly. He's got his level 6 Barbarian King and a whole bunch of archers moving in through these walls, clearing out the gold storage, just out of range of the splash damage from that wizard tower on the right, the mortar on the left, and that is a good sign. They're getting ever closer. Next wall goes down here they come archers going straight to work on the dark elixir storage Quentin throws down a heal spell just to give him a boost and now that mortar is going to start to do some serious damage but not in time there goes the dark elixir storage Quentin ends the raid and takes home over 1600 of the black stuff so for our next attack replay, we have an example from Omar of spending money to make money. He's invested in his army a little more heavily here. About 200,000 elixir spent on the balloons and rage spells, another 240 dark on the minions. And obviously with any balloonian attack, you send the balloons first. He's going to use the rage spells to try to accelerate them through those defenses. And unfortunately, something happens right here that you never want to see in a balloon attack, and that is all of those balloons stacking up right on top of each other. The splash damage really taking its toll before that wizard tower finally goes down and now you'll notice the balloons don't manage to take out either air defense so these minions are going to be up against it as they race in to go after that dark elixir one rage spell left just a few minions head towards the center so this raid obviously not going as smoothly as planned for omar but it does still work out he gets almost all of the dark elixir out of this base he finally is going to drop his Barbarian King on the far right hand side of that other Dark Elixir Collector. That is going to wrap up over 1100 Elixir stolen for a net profit of just about 900. So a trade of about 170,000 regular elixir for almost 1,000 in dark, I would take that any day of the week. And now we've got Dinu up and he's going after a very full elixir storage at the dead center of this village. And a good choice here, Dinu being very patient, facing a high level dragon coming out of that clan castle and that could be disastrous for big groups of barbarians and archers. So rather than just going ahead and starting this attack, Dinu is going to very patiently, calmly and collectedly Collectively, is that a word? And we are back, and yes, collectively is indeed a word. So Dinu is very collectively going about taking out that Barbarian King and Dragon from the Clan Castle. Cost him a few units now, but much better than having a large pack of them roasted by that Dragon's Breath later. So the dragon eventually goes down and now the rest of the attack can commence from the top right of the screen. And of course you'll notice that Dinu has brought wall breakers. Unlike the earlier barge attack we saw, I always like to bring a few just in case a situation like this does arise. Now the wall breakers aren't going to get as deeply as Dinu would like, but they will get a couple of the walls out of the way here. The big group of wall breakers coming in right here after that next set of walls. 
They will get it open, but we've still got two more layers to get to that Dark Elixir, but that won't matter as the Barbarians move in. The King as well, here they come. The Wizard Tower goes down. That's gonna make things a little bit easier, but Dinu is still facing three mortars firing on all of his troops. Doesn't have any more Barbarians to deploy, but there is the Rage spell, and that is gonna make a big difference. The last of the Barbarians and the King eventually coming back. There he goes, got a little bit confused for a minute, and Wizards out of the Clan Castle, and here they come around the corner into the rage spell king taking out the mortar they're moving in and now that lower level wall on the inside is going to be easily melted through by all of these units king working his way through right after the dark elixir storage he's about to go down he almost clears it out the wizards in behind are going to finish it off there it goes 1800 and dark elixir and a successful de raid for dinu so there's lots of different ways to farm that Dark Elixir for Town Hall 7 and up. It's just a matter of not biting off more than you can chew, budgeting your army costs, and making sure that you come out ahead. I'm curious to hear your favorite strategies in the comments. Please let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, favorite. Check out my other videos. Subscribe to Peter if you want. And I will see you again tomorrow with more full attacks. Galidon, I farm Dark Elixir with my gym box.